we just finished a really interesting OECD roundtable on the subject of the non-price effects of mergers. And I'm joined here with one of the experts on our panel, Jorge Padilla from Compass Lexicon. Jorge, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you for the invitation. So can you tell us a little bit, you know, innovation is a big buzzword and I think it's started to make its way into competition. There's certainly some cases where in mergers, innovation is, is emerging as a central theory of harm. Can you talk about what kind of theories of harm competition authorities can explore when it comes to innovation? Uh, definitely. I think that the first thing that I would like to say is that there has been lots of controversy as to whether competition authorities should be focusing on the innovation effects of mergers. Right. I think this is a no-brainer. I okay. think that innovation is key. Innovation is key for growth. And competition authorities should look at whether uh, transactions that combine you know, the activities of companies that are high on innovation can have a detrimental effect on innovation. They shouldn't limit themselves to focus on, on price effects. Mm. And I think that what happens here is that, you know, we know much less about innovation. And in particular, we know much less about the effects of mergers on innovation than we do with price effects. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't be looking for situations in which innovation will be reduced by horizontal mergers. And people at the chief economist team of the European Commission mm. have identified a number of potential theories of harm, mm. scenarios where innovation could be hurt by mergers. Which situations are those? For example, situations in which the innovative activity of a company would have a negative effect on the profitability of innovation by others because it makes less likely that they would be the only ones bringing the new product into the market. Right. Uh, situations in which, as a result of the merger, uh, prices will go up, output will go down, and therefore the incentives to improve costs or reduce costs will be will be smaller. Right. Now, that doesn't mean that we should intervene in all circumstances. That doesn't mean that we should have a presumption that mergers hurt innovation. But it means that there are some circumstances, well-defined circumstances, where it is logical that competition authorities check whether the facts of that particular case feed those theories of harm, and they should therefore intervene. So, Jorge, another thing that we talked quite a bit about during the session was the concept of privacy and whether mergers may actually have an impact on consumer privacy. And you brought a, a unique angle to the debate, which is maybe about the, how the combination of consumer data might be leading to other kind of consumer protection concerns. Can you talk about that? Yes. I think that my concern is not about mergers that reduce the amount of privacy that is provided to consumers. Mm -hmm. My concern is that some mergers that combine data sets that are relevant in order to understand the willingness to pay of consumers for certain products. Those mergers can facilitate companies the exploitation of that information so that they can better price discriminate against, uh, against consumers. Price discrimination sometimes is efficient, right. but sometimes it is not. And I think that competition authorities should be aware that sometimes by combining information as to you know, what is that people are looking for, yeah. what is that people need, what is that they talk to their, uh, to their friends about, yeah. what uh, is that they click like, what is that they have been purchasing in the past, these companies combining all that data, which may not be owned by each of them, uh, any of them separately, but when combining them, mm. combining all that data may be able to ascertain to a better degree, what is that consumers are willing to pay? And if they do so, then you know prices can go up. If that is true, I think that we should be paying attention to that. Great, that's fascinating. Thank you so much, Jorge, and thank you very much for watching.